Hi, everybody. My name is Jillian Grover Seaver, and I'm going to be your instructor for introductory psychology this quarter. Uh, just some technological warnings. I'm a psychology professor. I'm not a YouTube, uh, what would you call it, director? Or, well, I'm not a YouTuber. So I have no talent or skill with the technological things. But hopefully you'll find that I have talent and skill in communicating information having to do with psychology. For those of you who are enrolled in one of my classes, yay, you're watching my lectures. For people who are maybe looking for information to supplement a class that they're taking from somebody else, welcome aboard. I'm glad that you found my lectures. I hope that they're helpful. Um, I don't know who I get more of on my lectures online, people who are enrolled in my classes or people who aren't. Um, but I'm welcoming um, to anyone who wants to learn more about psychology. So I'm going to dive in and introduce the concept of psychology by giving a quick little what do you know already quiz as my first lecture. So I like to call this a fact or falsehood quiz. And I'm going to make statements. And you're going to mark down whether you think what I said is a fact or it's a falsehood. Um, so if you want to take a second, go get a piece of paper, or something to write down with. Um, I'll wait for you. No, I won't wait. I'll, you can pause me. OK, I'm going to assume you're back. Um, so hopefully you have paper and or pencil, something with which to write down your answers. You can try and remember them mentally. And let's go through and see what you already know about psychology before you even start. All right. Number one, psychology is best defined today as the study of mental life. Is that a fact or a falsehood? You might want to say true or false so you can use T's and F's. That would probably make more sense. Psychology is best defined today as the study of mental life. Number two, most people seem to lack confidence in the accuracy of their beliefs. Most people seem to lack confidence in the accuracy of their beliefs. Three, we ordinarily use only 10% of our brains. We ordinarily use only 10% of our brains. Four, allowed to sleep unhindered. That is without an alarm clock or being able to go to bed when you feel tired. Those kinds of, like you could sleep as much as you needed. Most adults will sleep between seven and a half and nine hours a night. So allowed to sleep unhindered, most adults will sleep seven and a half to nine hours a night. Five, people everywhere return favors. True or false, people everywhere return favors. Six, people in their 20s and 30s report greater life satisfaction than those in their 60s and 70s. People in their 20s and 30s report greater life satisfaction than those in their 60s and 70s. Seven, subliminal messages can raise our self-esteem and improve our memories. Subliminal messages are messages that are presented to you either too quietly, so you don't recognize that you heard it, or um, so briefly that you don't recognize that you saw it, that kind of thing. So subliminal messages can raise our self-esteem and improve our memories. Eight, negative reinforcement is another term for punishment. True or false, negative reinforcement is another term for punishment. Nine, the hour before sleep is a good time to commit information to memory. The hour right before sleep is a good time to commit information to memory. Ten, it takes less compelling evidence to change our beliefs than it did to create them in the first place. It takes less compelling evidence to change our beliefs than it did to create them in the first place. Eleven, among people with IQs below 70, Males outnumber females by 50%. True or false? Among people with IQs below 70, males outnumber females by 50%. 12. Part of knowing when to eat is our memory of our last meal. Part of knowing when to eat is our memory of our last meal. 13. Introverts are superior to extroverts at reading others' emotions. Introverts are people who are less motivated by um, being in social situations that are noisy or um, you know, loud music, those kinds of things, versus extroverts who are people who seek out um, lots of stimulation from other people, 
Um, they like loud music, things like that. 14, most people recognize that personality descriptions based on horoscopes are invalid. Most people recognize that personality descriptions based on horoscopes are invalid. 15, multiple personalities is a type of schizophrenia. Multiple personalities is a type of schizophrenia. 16, psychoanalysis is another word for psychotherapy. Psychoanalysis is just synonymous with psychotherapy. 17, we are less likely to offer help to a stranger if other bystanders are present. True or false, we are less likely to offer help to a stranger if other bystanders are present. All right, well, I'm sure you wanna know how you did. So you can check your answers. Um, number one is false. Um, the reason why number one is false is because we don't, what is mental life? We don't even know what that is. Um, psychology is best defined today as the study of behavior and mental processes. So we'll talk about that in chapter one. Um, two, that's false. Not only do people not lack confidence, they tend to be overconfident in the accuracy of their beliefs. We'll talk about that some more. We ordinarily use only 10% of our brains. No way. Uh, we use our whole brains. That's a big old myth, and a lot of people believe it, but we use all of our brains. Uh, four, that's true. Most people, most adults, need seven and a half to nine hours of sleep. Most adults don't get seven and a half to nine hours of sleep, so we're all walking around with a sleep deficit, most of us. And we'll talk about that when we talk about consciousness and sleep. Five, people everywhere return favors. That's true. It's part of every society. There's the assumption of reciprocity, that if I do something for you, you then feel beholden to me, and you expect that you need to somehow return that favor. Six, mm -mm, that's false. Um, people's life satisfaction is very consistent across their lifespan. It's not tied to age. Seven, false. The subliminal messages don't really do anything. They can give us a little bit of um, change of attitude briefly, like maybe 15 seconds, but definitely have no ability to change the way that you think about yourself or what you can you know, store in your memories. Eight, oh gosh, that's a big no. That's a big no. <laughs> Negative reinforcement is a way to get you to increase or continue your behavior. Uh, punishment is a way to get you to reduce your behavior or eliminate that behavior. So they are could not be any more opposite if they tried, but people use those terms interchangeably, so that's why I put it on this quiz. Um, and by people, I mean just regular people, not psychologists. Uh, the hour before sleep, this is um, miscoded, which is not a good sign for my ability to set up quizzes since I had to pick this symbol and put it over this number, but it turns out that um, if you learn something right before sleep and then immediately go to sleep, you'll have a better chance of incorporating that information into your long-term memory. So it's actually a good time to in, um, commit information to memory. Ten. Um, the reason why this is false is that it doesn't take less compelling evidence to change our beliefs. It takes way more compelling evidence to change our beliefs. We are very, once we have formed an attitude, we are very stubborn and stick to that attitude, even in the face of contrary information. So it would take a lot of information, piling up and piling up to convince us that we might have the wrong belief. Um, whereas when we're learning something for the first time, all it takes is us hearing it, and we're like, well, that must be true because it's the first I've ever heard of it. Males do outnumber females among those with IQs less than 70, and that's because there's a, a disorder called uh, Fragile X syndrome that's more likely to affect males than females. So there's biological reasons why. 12, that's true. When they tested people who had a type of amnesia where they can't remember things that have happened recently, um, they had them eat a TV dinner, and then they came back a minute later after the person had finished the TV dinner and discarded the contents, everything sat back down and offered them another TV din dinner like it was the first time they were offering them anything. Hey, how would you feel about having a little dinner? And because they had a memory problem, they couldn't remember that they just ate, a lot of them said okay, like 60% of them said okay. It wasn't until the third 
TV dinner that their stomach was full enough to let them know that, wait, I think I must have just recently eaten because my stomach's full. Um, so for regular people whose memories are working correctly, part of our knowledge that we don't need to eat is because our stomachs feel okay. But part of it is that we remember having just eaten. Introverts are better at reading other people's emotions. Introverts are more sensitive to other people in a lot of different ways, and one of those ways is picking up their cues. Uh, if only people would recognize that personality descriptions based on horoscopes are invalid, but a lot of people really firmly believe in those things, and you know, you might be one of them. Uh, I sometimes read a, a um, horoscope, or in my case, just the other day, I was um, eating some pho, and they had fortune cookies afterwards. And you know that can't possibly have anything to do with anything, but the description sounded kind of accurate. Uh, and there's that moment where you say, this does sound kind of accurate. And then you remember, oh, this is a cookie or this is a horoscope that cannot possibly be actually representing anything valid. But we kind of believe it a little bit. We'll talk about why that is later on when we get deeper into class. Um, Fifteen, another pet peeve. Multiple personalities and schizophrenia are two different disorders. In fact, multiple personality disorder is now called dissociative identity disorder. So I didn't even use the correct term in this false, factor falsehood. A lot of times people think that schizophrenics are hearing voices because they're hearing their other personalities, and that's not what's happening. Um, schizophrenia is a completely separate disorder. 16, psychoanalysis is another word for psychotherapy. That's false. Um, psychoanalysis is a type of psychotherapy but there are a lot of psychotherapies available to us. So we'll talk about several of them in this class. If you're really interested in psychotherapy, um, Abnormal Psychology is a great class to fill out some of the gaps that I'm gonna leave in my description. Finally, the last question, we're likely to help, less likely to help a stranger if other bystanders are present. That's true. Um, a lot of times we think we're, we would be um, somehow a little bit safer in a crowd, that you know, if something happened to us, somebody would help us. And it turns out that if there's, um, you know, a group of five or six people standing around and something happens, they get a little bit immobile and don't know what to do and who should take responsibility and things. And so you end up left to your own devices. Um, so we'll talk a little bit about the social factors that go into that. It's going to be a pretty fun class. We're going to cover all of these different topics and more. I tried to kind of ask a question that's representative of each chapter that we're going to be covering across the quarter. So you maybe get some of them wrong and realize, well, I'm glad I signed up for this class because I don't know everything about psychology yet. So, all right, that's a good time to take a break. Let's come back in the next segment and we'll talk about what is psychology and where did it come from. <laughs>